Would you believe they put a man on the moon? Would you believe that? Yes. Now, given that, would you believe there is nothing up my sleeve? Sure. Wrong. The Todd Studelmeyer rookie card. When, uh, when you were a kid, did you ever do the, uh, did you, ever, did you ever do the moon? The give, moon? Some, give someone the moon? You know, you're riding along in the car and you go, mm-hmm, yeah. Hey, roll down the window. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Right. I know a so couple you, times in my younger days. Yeah, so you're like, you, you know, roll down the window. You, you, you drop, drop trowel. Stick, st stick your fanny out the window. And the cars going by are like, oh, no, oh, no. And then you, and then, and then you do the moon, right? You do the moon. And then, so you're like, And you're like, got you now, because you. I don't think that's. You think no, you, like they think you're playing a trick on the other cars, but really, you're you're taking a poo down the side of theirs. You're playing the trick on the driver. I don't think that's how mooning works. I used to like to do it. My uncle Brad had a white Corsica. Uh -huh. I used to say, like the racing stripe? In the middle of the street? You like the racing stripe? Makes your car go faster. Did you ever look up at the moon and think, I wonder who's living up there? Uh, not, not, not really. Well, for a long, a long time, people thought, you know, that there was nobody up living on the moon. Mm hmm Until they discovered certain someone, you might have heard of him. He's called the man in the moon. Ring yeah. a bell? I've heard of the phrase before. And people were like, oh, who is this guy? He's sort of, a, he's like a recluse. He's, you know, he, he's, he's hiding half the year. People don't know. You know, people kind of recognize him, but they don't know, like, what's, what's going on with this guy? Who is this man in the moon? You know who discovered him? Who? Me. And you know who it turned out to be? Who? Jeff Foxworthy. Jeff Foxworthy. Makes sense, right? If you didn't know the man in the moon was Jeff Foxworthy, you might be a redneck. You know, uh, not a lot of people know about the discovery of the moon, right? They, you know, they, you look up, you see it, but nobody really knows the story of how we came to find out that this thing existed. Right? Mm -hmm. I always tell people, Nina, Pinta, Santa Maria, that's all you need to remember. Three ships, captained by... <laughs> Armstrong went up to the moon. And you know what they found there? What were they found? Space aliens. Hostile space aliens with space bows, space arrows. Space aliens shooting holes into the air tanks on, you know, making the making the astronauts, making all the crew, uh, you know, suffocate in space. It was a, basically a space battle. Armstrong retaliated through some filthy blankets, dirty filthy blankets, full of scurvy and smallpox and gonorrhea, onto the space aliens. Space aliens got really, really sick. So, half the astronauts suffocated, half the space aliens dead of gonorrhea. They said we gotta call a truce. 
You know what that was? What, what was that? The first space Thanksgiving. Spanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And to celebrate, because they couldn't have, you know, like a turkey and a mashed potato and a yam and a green bean and uh, a beet. They, they just have that freeze-dried space food. So they, they pulled out a, their, their very finest little sweet treat, about that big. Little, uh, little, bit, of, little bit of space succulents. Little fr freeze-dried thing. They open up the pouch, they pull it out, and they, sp they split the little cake. A little bit of cake, a little bit of cream. I said, here you go. It's a truce over this, over this space cake manufactured by a little company that uh, wasn't very wasn't very popular at the time but you might have heard of them now Vachon ringing any bells mm-hmm yeah I've heard of Vachon you know what they you know what they named that celebratory space cake Could on get. the first space Thanksgiving first Thanksgiving on the moon they probably um, called it about that big Little crescent shaped thing. Yeah, they probably call it the, um, the half. Ah, color. caramel. You know, there's all kinds of different moons, right? You got your uh, full moon, mm -hmm. you got your half moon, you got your, your waxing and your waning moon. Right, all these different terms we have to describe sort of the, what we call the state of the moon. Mm -hmm. But you know what my favorite is? Favorite phase of the moon? What's that? The blue moon. Sure, okay. I like to get out there. I grab my telescope, put my eye right up against it, and then I get my iroscope out, which is similar to a telescope, but allows you to hear things from very far away. I stick the thing in my ear, and I'm looking up at the moon, and it looks pretty much the same, but if you listen very, very closely, you can actually hear the sound of space. And you know what the moon says? No idea. I got the blues. Down, 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 down. Because I'm the moon. Down, 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 down. Up in the sky. Now, 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 Jeff Foxworth, I. Hello. Operator, uh, please put me through to the moon. Moon. Thank you. Yes, I'll wait. Hello, is this the moon? Hi, uh, I just had a quick question for you. Do you have any tuna fish for sale? <laughs> you do? H how much per pound? That's a lot, is that, is that moon, tu moon tuna? Moona. That's too expensive. <laughs>